Welcome. My name is Kilman Bute. I was born in Panama and I have been working here in the Philippines for almost seven years. I have been a missionary here. I have been linked with PAMAS, Philippine Adventist Medical Aviation Service in Palawan and other bases, even in Isabela. And I have worked with them for almost five years also. And we have been doing missionary work here in the Philippines. I have been working as an evangelist, working all around, teaching people, encouraging people in how to live properly. And I would like to talk more about this coronavirus so you can know what to do at home that will help you to prevent this problem. We are here to talk about a topic that is well known. Everybody is talking about it, the coronavirus or COVID-19. You will see in the screens all the details that as I am talking, but I want you to know all the important aspects as we need to approach or face this crisis that we have in the world. And one of the questions that we need to answer then is this one. Definitely, the first most important thing that we need to do or we need to know is trust God. This is the main and most important aspect I would like to talk to you this morning. And for that, I would like you to notice the verse that comes from the Bible from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So we can see that God wants us to trust him. Many of us may claim to even know the Bible, read it. But the question that comes is, do we trust him that in times like these, we have peace? Other verses you can find, Psalm 119, 165, that are very significant. We need peace. The fact that you are stressed or anxious already will decrease your immune system. Therefore, we want to keep our immune system high. This is one of the most important things we need to remember, don't forget. And anxiety will not help your immune system, will bring it down. So if you want your immune system up, keep trusting in God. One study that came from Rolling McCarthy says that anger for five minutes and cortisol levels increase. Cortisol stress hormones. So they suppress, they suppress the immune system and suppresses the secretory immunoglobulin A for six hours. Five minutes of anger will decrease your immune system for six hours. And we don't want that. We want to increase it. So we need to be careful with that. <clears throat> breathing technique. Let's talk about the breathing technique. It's very important to breathe properly. So how should we breathe? The most important thing about breathing is breathe through your nose, not through your mouth. Many people breathe through the mouth. As you can actually see me speaking, you may see that I have to be breathing through my nose as I speak. And this, personally, I know it took many years for me to learn how to do it. I know it's not gonna be an easy task for you to do it, but we need to remember to breathe through the nose instead of the mouth. Why? Because in the mouth, we don't have all the main three mechanisms of cleaning that we have in the nose. God made hair, boogers, and we need to humidify and warm the air through the conchi or turbinates of the nose. We don't have any of those instruments that God made in our mouth. Therefore, we should not be breathing through our mouth. We should be breathing through our nose. Besides that, there are many, many problems when we breathe through the mouth instead of the nose. So make sure we breathe properly. Nose breathing is very important. Yes, sneezing or coughing is an important question. What is the best technique? The best technique for sneezing or coughing is no longer using a handkerchief or your hands. Many people still use that practice as we were taught before. But nowadays, we know that the best technique is whenever you know you're gonna have a risk, you're sick maybe, you are already sick, and you are sneezing, you are coughing, it's best to use a long sleeve when you are especially in public places, so you're gonna be in contact with other people. 
because that way when you have to sneeze you can put your elbow and cough or sneeze that way your hand is not touching any of the microorganisms that comes when you comes out of us when we sneeze or cough yes that's a very important question so do not use your hands don't forget that now let's talk about the breathing technique 479 479 is a name of a technique and to learn how to breathe properly and you begin by slowly breathing in through your nose through the count of four so you will breathe in like this then you will hold it for seven seconds then you will breathe out using your lips When you do that, your lung capacity increases. This is the best way to breathe and you can practice this several times a day. You can do it two times a day as minimum to keep your lungs healthier and healthier. Breathing technique 479, it helps in many other things. But for now, talking about the corona, it's very important for it too. So you can develop it. It takes a little time to develop it, but you need to practice. If you feel dizzy or bad doing it, maybe your lung capacity is not good enough, you can probably wait until your lungs are better to practice it another day, but it is very significant for our health. Yes, exercising is a very significant thing for our immune system. We need to exercise. Some people actually say that Exercise is like prayer, we need it every day. Yes, what are the best exercises we have today? The exercises that we know today according to studies that increases our immune system and there are more benefit in health in our bodies are walking and gardening. So 20 minutes of a breeze walk or gardening in our homes or in our places where we do our garden is one of the best. If you don't have those two, you, everybody most likely will have the ability to walk, but even if you don't have those two, you can use other exercises. Yeah, if you have a gymnasium, use what you have. If you have other means of exercising, use them. But the two best ones are gardening and walking. Another thing that is important to remember is sunshine. Sunshine is very important for killing bacteria because ultraviolet light in the sun kills microorganisms. That's the reason why we need to do some sun exposure, that our bodies will also be cleansed from the outside. Some of the microorganisms will be killed by the sun. Now, if you want to start using or doing the practice of sunbathing, you can do so, but make sure you are not using so much oil and you are not eating oxidized fats because those are the things that cause skin cancer. Make sure you have those things covered before you do it. You can do it up to 40 minutes, but don't start with 40 minutes. You can start slowly, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, until your skin gets accustomed. Avoid sunburn. Do not get so much that you get sunburn. Yes, that's another important question. How can we kill it at home? How can we kill the virus at home? As I was saying about the sunshine, it is very important that we open the windows and the doors of our homes to the sun and the air. Air and sun are very important for killing microorganisms in our homes. That's the reason why our windows in our homes should be open and there should be no interference, nothing that blocks the sun and the air to come in our homes. Rooms that are dark normally create more bacteria, mycobacterium tuberculi, so we need to let the sun and the air come in. What about sleep? Is it important, the sleeping time? Is it important how much I sleep? Yes, it is important for our immune system how much I sleep and when I sleep. It's not the same to sleep eight hours at 12 midnight than to sleep eight hours before midnight. 
So it is important to remember that we should sleep in total darkness so the melatonin that we need for the repairing during the night is produced and then that we should sleep before 9.30. If we sleep later than 9.30, our immune system is not going to be repairing so much. So it is important to make sure that our rooms are dark, there is no lights around, that we can cover the lights or using an anti-face or a mask that you can cover your eyes, something that will help to keep the eyes from getting light from outside. We have to make sure also while we sleep that there is no draft coming from the outside into the room directly into our bodies. Therefore, we also have to remember the body temperature is important. Warm temperature for the body keeps our body's immune system higher. If, we, if our body temperature goes low, then our body will be weaker in terms of our immune system. Therefore, remember to keep your body warm. We don't have to have fever, but we have to be warm. What about drinking water? Is it important? Yes, we all know that drinking water is very important. In average, when I ask people in the Philippines how many glasses of water they drink, they normally say three. So that's an important and significant uh, aspect. We need to increase our intake of water, and that's in general. This is what I can tell you. When I ask people, how many glasses of water you drink a day? That's what normally they answer me. Average, because some people drink more, some people are conscious and some people are not. But in general, we need to increase. How much is the amount of water we need to drink? We need to drink 15 to 16 glasses of water a day, especially in hot weather, which is dry season and is right now present. And we need to keep that in mind. The other important aspect when talking about drinking water is that we should be drinking small amount of water more times during the day than to try to be a camel and drink the whole water in one time. So it's more important, more amount of water, different timings than all in ones. Another important thing about water is using the contrast bath. What is that? You can do three minutes of hot water as you can tolerate and 30 seconds of a cold water. You can change your water temperature in your home or you can have two buckets, one with hot water and one with cold water that you can tolerate, of course, that you're gonna, not going to burn yourself. But in the case of the hot, you use three minutes and in the case of the cold, you use 30 seconds. Three minutes hot, 30 seconds cold. Three minutes hot, 30 seconds cold. And as you do that, finishing with the cold, your body will increase the immune system. It is important to avoid low temperatures, like when you get wet or sweat. If you remain cold with the water that is from the sweat or from the rain or some other means, if your body remains cold for a long period of time, your immune system will be low. So as soon as you get wet, you want to change that clothing or get it dry, make a new one. Yes, that's a very important question. What if I drink alcohol or I smoke? As a matter of fact, there are several things that we will recommend in abstemiousness. Make sure you avoid those things that are harmful for you. One of those things definitely is our what? tobacco, alcohol, caffeine, illicit drugs, or even overeating. Yes, because all of them decrease immune system. So we have to remember to control those things. What about nutrition? Should we talk about nutrition? Yes, there are many things that we need to talk about the nutrition. What should we be eating or what should not be eating? Yes, it is very important to know that one of the most damaging agents in our bodies is sugar. Yes, what about sugar? We need to eliminate sugar, especially now that we have a risk of acquiring an infection like the coronavirus. Why? Let me show you. As you can see on the screen, if you have a normal white blood cells running, killing bacteria, he can kill 
14 bacteria in half an hour, 30 minutes. That's the normal process. But when you introduce 12 teaspoons of sugar in the diet, like when drinking one can of soda or soft drink, you are introducing 12 teaspoons of sugar, then your white blood cells cannot kill 14 in half an hour. They can kill only 5.5 bacteria in half an hour. Therefore, you have decreased your immune system more than 50% by just drinking one soft drink with 12 teaspoons of sugar. If you take two, or if you eat one banana split, you are going to decrease your immune system more because the white blood cells can kill only one bacteria in 30 minutes. And that's a significant thing. Make sure you eliminate sugar whenever you have an infection or a risk of an infection, at least for those moments. If you use something healthier, definitely it will be better to use the natural sugars or sweeteners like raisins, dates, if you can get them around or are accessible to you, or dehydrated bananas or even molasses. If you get any of those, those are better for the preparation of the food, things that are sweet that you would like to partake and is not having any problem. About eating, one another aspect that we need to remember is vitamin C. We need a lot of vitamin C in our bodies and we have the blessing here in the Philippines that we can get a lot of citrus fruits, fruits that have vitamin C in it and we don't have to lack. Use calamansi, uh, and santoles, you have many other citrus fruits that you can use, soursop, there is pepper, sweet peppers, there is even watermelon has vitamin C in it, kiwis, anything that you can find. And in this season right now, especially in Palawan, you can find cashew fruits. Yes, cashew fruit is very good. All the elements in cashew fruits are very good for killing bacteria in the throat. Even when you eat it raw, you can eat it sliced with a little bit of salt or you can cook it with banana and make a dish with ripe bananas, ripe saba, and chop it really fine and you can make a very nice dish to enjoy that. It is important also to remember to keep regularity in the meals and also not to eat late at night or heavy meals in the evening. Because when we do that, the insulin that goes high prevents melatonin production at night. And when you are sleeping, you are not really sleeping. That means you are not repairing. And your immune system will be compromised if you eat late at night or heavy meals. So make sure that you avoid that to make sure you prevent an infection from the coronavirus. Thank you so much for coming and listening to this presentation. If you have more questions, visit our other videos or contact us. If you want to contact us later or another time, you can visit our channels in YouTube, my name, Kilman Bute, or you can use our email also, Kilman76 Bute at gmail.com, as you can see in the screen. Or you can text us in our numbers, 0915 641-8874, that's for the globe, and 093-9399-5505 for the smart. Thank you for your report.